Hi there, I've got a couple of open water type paddles that I'm going to shape. So these are cedar and mahogany uh, and it's this one's a, a beaver tail type so it's uh, fairly wide in there and, and medium type uh, length of blade. I like it when it's slightly boxier so I've gone for that shape and it's going to have a palm grip on the end which I can show how to uh, create that. And the second one is uh, an otter tail, so longer blade, narrow section. I'll keep this uh, shaft nice and square to begin with. It's good for holding the device while shaping. And then for the grip, I think it's called a Northwood uh, grip. So basically standardish type palm grip on the top, but you can put your hand in different positions lower down um, to vary your body position on longer trips. So let's get started. So what tools do I use for the shaping process? So I do use a little bit of power, so I've got an electric hand planer which I'll use to take down some of the blade there just to speed things up a little bit. I can also use a, a smoothing plane for some of the rougher uh, shaping. By far the most used for me is, uh, or my favourite tool is a, a low angle block plane. I've got a couple of them set to slightly different settings. I might use a spoke shave as well depending on how it works with the, the grain on this wood. I've got a selection of files, so relatively aggressive ones like this. So I've got flat ones and kind of half round type shapes, different types, different uh, roughnesses, and also a lot of sanding. So I've got, these are just taken down from discs. So that's 60 I find is pretty good for rough shaving. It's fairly soft, this um, cedar, so it's easy to shape. And I'll wrap that round little piece of wood like that just to help um, the control of it and I've also got could probably go down to about 120 for my initial uh, shaping also a little bit of water at some point for raising the grain and I do use uh, some measurement although most of it is done by by eye or by feel so I've got a meter stick so I can use that for adding in my center lines which I'll keep putting back in while I'm shaping to make sure I can make it nice and easy, even, and just a simple um, steel rule as well for measurements. 